switch? Yep. This, the horsepower. I forget about Rayquaza. Rayquaza adds horsepower. Yeah. You, you like to, is it okay if I mess with your seat? Yeah, bro, go for it. It's actually clean. This feels, it? this feels better than my car. <laughs> The, sh the Dude, nostril shift is so soft, huh? Yeah, and it doesn't, there's a lot more, I'd say, give in the first couple inches in my car. Rev it, like, just hit, rev it. just hit it. So you got you got this set up right here on your access point? Yeah, that, that's part of the tune, the, the, the two-step. The same, the clutch. You just hit it a little bit on the angle, and you should be fine. You're, you're getting used to the low line. Oh, it's so low, bro! Oh, it's so low! I feel like I'm just murdering your car. We forgot to mention BC coilovers. Yep, we did. BC coilovers. It's not as bad. Oh. I, I, I let it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in Juan's car now. We're doing a review in the car. So like I said in a previous view, uh, video, how I want to do my reviews are I want to have a lot of interaction between me and Juan. So it's not just going to be me talking like you see in a lot of other reviews. So yeah, we're just going to get into the review now. Go, quickly go over again what you've done with your speed three and yeah uh full boltons uh tuned on 33 percent of ethanol e85 it's dropped on vc coilovers back style with running no collars it's a uh, ultimate racing turbo black exhaust front mount mishimoto from intercooler uh turbo inlet and uh intake and uh hks super sequential blob or Blah, blah, yeah. Super did, sequential four, sorry. Did you say the E85 intake plus uh, the tune or no? Did you say no, that? No, I said the intake, the E85, and then the Cobb Access port, yep. which uh, tells you basically everything that's going on with your car. Yeah, and the blow off valve sounds insane. And, yeah. What I really need to pay attention is all these tiny little bumps, huh? <laughs> no, I mean, they it's don't okay really do for much. Part? Yeah, for the most part, it, it writes good. It should take it like a champ. The suspension's really good. Okay. Do you scrape a lot just on the paint or nothing? You uh, got something just there? everywhere, basically. Everywhere you go, if you're going to a fast food, you freaking scrape. Anywhere you go into my house, you scrape. You leave my house, you scrape. I don't necessarily scrape on the sidewalk. I scrape going into the garage. Uh -huh. So my mud flaps drag all the way up. <laughs> Again, guys, I, I asked Juan, um, so um, why, why do you want the car so low? Looks and, good. Uh, he likes it. <laughs> So that's why he does it. He likes it, he wants the car low. Um, is it gonna maybe uh, inhibit him from going faster around corner, I mean, corners and things and making him watch out for his driving more? Sure, but he likes the way it looks, so, you know, good on you. It's good safer, on you for doing it's it. It's safer to drive slow. Yeah, you know <laughs> what? Actually it is, so you're doing the right thing. So have you gotten this thing dynoed at all? Yeah, it's uh, dynoed at uh, 315 to the wheels. Really? And it's like 380 wheels, uh, pounds of torque. Dang. So and, it's a torque. What are you mostly getting that from? Uh, the tune or the E85? The tune, the E85, everything, everything puts its part in okay. on, on the power. Do not want to hit this biker right here. That's goal number one. <laughs> Overall, how do you like the car? You said you've had a, um, what did you have previously? It was a uh, MK. No, uh, no, well, starting off from the beginning, I started off really strong with the 350Z, and uh, I sold it because I hated the 350Z. It was TJ. <laughs> sorry, man. I sold it really cheap. It only had uh, 89,000 miles. Oh, um, it was uh, charcoal gray like this. Uh, it was track edition, and um, I sold it for 7,000, and it was clean, clean paint, clean, clean everything. Oh, uh, if TJ, yeah. TJ I sold that. This, he's, I he's sold so it for years. Sorry, TJ. Sorry, and then I went down to a Honda. I had a uh, had a Honda Si EM1 nice, in 2000 dude. with a B16A head with a B16 B um, block, which was a, basically a Type R. I got pulled over. Yeah. So I got punished by my parents, so they sold my car. Oh, I got bro. pulled over. Listen, this is the worst part. I got pulled over going 110 miles per hour on a 40 zone. So I got lucky. I didn't go to jail. I got off oh, with a ticket oh. and an impound. You were so yeah. <laughs> 
Never mind. After hearing your parents selling your car, yeah, I would have sold your car too, bro. <laughs> so then I was punished for about a couple months. I had to drive my mom's van to, to school. Hey so man, I drove, a, I drove a van oh. to school too. But I mean, school. it was embarrassing. But then after a while, like all my friends are like, "Yo, let's all hop in the van." So bro, we'd hop in the van. Same thing. I had a subwoofer in there. Oh, they, they called it the party bus. And I had an EM1, a blue one that I had bought with uh, my first year of tax money. It was really clean. But uh, I let my dad borrow it to go to watch the Mayweather fight out in uh, Compton with oh, my dude. sisters. Compton. Uh, and on the way over there, some guy was like drunk driving and like hit him in the back of the car, like was driving really fast. Really? It made him spin out, crash into the back of a semi, and um, the whole car was crushed on the, on the, on the driver's side. That uh, since my dad felt kind of bad that that my car was totaled and I paid it with my own money, um, yeah. he put my down payment on for this car. And no, I'm not mommy and daddy sponsored. I work for Pepsi, and I pay my own car and my car insurance. I pay my whole car, so I'm not mommy and daddy sponsored. And the car is under my name. So yeah, no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. All right, man. <laughs> Drive it like you stole it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I've been, I've had quite a few cars. It doesn't do it's nothing. It's not a you're, problem, you're fine, you're fine. but I mean, just the wheels gonna fall off. That's about it. Oh, that's it. That's it, bro. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Well, all we need is three wheels, right? It's left wheel drive, anyways. Remember? Oh, you're Side right. Wheel, so we don't I need these wheels. I did not think about that. We'll be fine. I'm boosting about 475 pounds on the turbo. 75 pounds? No, 475 pounds on the turbo. Oh, 475. Yeah, that's, that's not bad for stock. Yeah! Ah, oh, this turbo! Yeah. Oh, drip. Drip. Oh. You can feel the Jeep for so much more in the passenger seat. You yeah, just yeah, get sucked in the seat. You're not holding on to anything. Yeah. Man. No, when I was driving down to the to the ranch, I swear I thought I was going to be part of a nightmare, like a, a scary movie. Summer. Yeah. Goal for the summer. Look and act a lot like this. <laughs> Good amount of horsepower. I yeah, to the wheels, yeah. not to the crank. I mean, stock to the wheels are like, well, like 240, 230, okay, 240. Somewhere around there, because to the crank, they're like 260. Yeah, yeah, 267 or something. Yeah, something like that. Exactly. Which is not a lot. That's but, that, that's not a lot, yeah. But I mean, so once, what you've done with it's pretty, pretty amazing what yeah. you've gotten out of it. Yeah. Like, to be honest, I really like the, um, the noise of this car. I don't. TJ's car. If you guys, I don't know if you've ever heard it in person, but it is freaking loud. Yeah. And I would. I honestly just wouldn't want to deal with that every day. Now, but TJ likes likes a really loud car. Um, loud is good. Loud is good, but I I like this this it's amount loud. of loud. <laughs> it, yeah. But your gas mileage. Why don't you pump ethanol? Oh my God, I pump gas like twice a week. Really? Yeah. It's bad. What is your What, what are you looking at when you pump ethanol? Yeah. Like somewhere around. 17. Um, okay, yeah. Worse than that. Really? Worse than that. Depending on how I'm driving, if I'm feeling like, depending on my groove on the music, uh -huh. I have a heavy, a heavy foot. So if I'm heavy footing it, I'm gonna go down pretty quick. And then the thing is that you can only boost so much on these turbos. Yeah. I mean, you can't go anywhere past 21 or 22. So I'm, I'm tuned on 21. Okay. And before I was tuned on ethanol, like my my car would hit 22 pounds. But I've had, I would have a boost cut because it was too high. Okay. But I mean, sometimes What's stock I'm, isn't it 15 pounds? Ah, uh, stock is like 13 or 14. Okay. Yeah. On a good day, if it's really really cold, you'll boost 15. Okay. But other than that, you'll boost like 13 or 14. Yeah. I'm gonna put a four cannon on this. For there, the there you go. Just like the Honda. Some, yeah. Some Hondas. Just kind of tooting along. Yeah. Just, just smash everywhere and not go anywhere. Oh. Um. Instagram right here. It's right here. Somewhere right here. It's right here. 
Oh, okay, right there. And uh, that's gonna be all for this one. If you guys want me to review your car, check out your car. DM me on Instagram. My Instagram's always in the bio of every video, so check that out. And that's about it for this one, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you later. Woo! Stop with us. For days, booty going up, down. I ain't got no problem spending all of my money. We're good. <laughs> That's good stuff.